Today in our digital literacy series, we will be talking about searching for resources through the library website using Cat Search. My name is Jacqueline Frank, and I'm happy to be here with you today from the Learning and Research Services Department at the Montana State University Library in Bozeman, Montana. In this video, you can expect to learn what Cat Search and a discovery layer is, as well as how to search for library resources, limiting by peer-reviewed type, date, subject, and more. You will also learn how to place holds, order, and request books that aren't available, and how to access your library account online. CatSearch is called a discovery layer because it helps users find many different types of resources all at once, ranging from books, articles, and journals, to technology checkouts, people, and guides for specific courses. CatSearch includes resources the library pays for, as well as open access materials. For more on open access specifically, see the next video in this series on that topic. There are a few specific benefits to using CatSearch. For one, it's just a great starting place to explore current research on a topic with a simple search interface. While subject-specific databases are helpful when you're looking for more in-depth articles, CatSearch shows all different types of content available, including books, ebooks, videos, and more. Second, it's super easy to limit to peer-reviewed articles. And if you are looking for a specific book or article, it's also easy to search by title to quickly see if we have access. Finally, we are working on building out a new resource recommender to suggest things you might not expect, such as experts in the field to meet with, library guides for researching a specific subject, relevant databases, and more. There are many different ways you can use Cat Search, so let's see an example. From the library homepage, if you know a specific item you are looking for, you can enter that title in quotation marks in the Cat Search box to quickly see if we have access. If we have online access, you'll be able to follow links to the item which we will show an example of later in this video. If we don't have online access, you'll be able to request the item through Interlibrary Loan, which we'll also demonstrate later in this video. However, you may just be starting your research. So from the library homepage, let's start again with a simple search for nursing. Here, you can see an example of the resource recommender, which first shows experts in the field. You can email Marianne or Sheila with a question or schedule an appointment for research help as well as suggested subject specific databases to continue searching in. Below, you can sift through your cat search results, noting the resource type listed in gray above the title, or limit using the facets on the right, which can also be super helpful. There's an option to limit to peer reviewed only, as well as available online. And you can limit to resource type if you are only looking for books or articles, for example. Limiting by date can also be super helpful, either for finding the most recent research on a subject, or for information from a specific time period. You can also narrow down your search further by limiting to specific subject areas. If you want to continue, continue searching using the same criteria, but using different keywords, you can lock the filters for future searches by clicking the lock icon next to it under active filters at the top. To remove a filter, click the X to the right. I'm just going to remove a few for our example. In Cat Search, you can also use different search scopes to cast a broader or narrower net of results. You can search everything, which is the default, or limit to just physical resources in the building, course reserves, or trails, which searches all academic libraries across Montana. Above that, you have the option to limit to a few common resource types, including journals, databases, and guides. After you've found some interesting results, let's see how you access those. First, I'm going to limit to books. As we scroll through the results, we see many ebooks. If they say online access, some have multiple versions or editions. And if we scroll to the bottom of this page, we see an example with both a physical copy available in the library on the third floor, as well as an online copy. For physical books available in the library, Clicking on the location brings up more information, including where it is in the library and the call number needed to find the book. If the item is available, you can either come into the library to find it yourself or sign in to get the option to place a hold and we will go find the book for you and hold it at the front desk with your name on it to pick up the next day. If the item is checked out, however, you will see an option to place a hold and you can wait for the item to be returned to the library. Or, if you search under the trail scope and another Montana library has the item, you'll see an option to order it. 
Either way, you can use those options by first signing in using your Net ID, username, and password, and we will get it from another library for you. Scrolling down in the record lets you see more information or virtually browse for other nearby items on the shelf. Now I'm going to limit to articles instead of books. Let's take a look at an article available online. Clicking on the title of an article will show you all the possible databases that we have that includes that article, and there may be more than one. Use the blue links under online availability to access the article through different databases. If you are off campus, you will be asked to sign in with your NetID, but if you're on campus or already signed in like I am here, you will be automatically connected. Then look for the PDF icon to download and save the article. Going back to our search results page offers another quick option to pin relevant resources to come back to while you continue searching. First, make sure you are signed into Cat Search by looking for your name in the top right corner. If you are not signed in, this will say Guest and you can click there to sign in as we saw earlier. After signing in, click the pin icon next to a title to save the citation to your favorite. Or click Save Query to save the overall search. To view your favorites again, click the pin icon at the top next to your name to see your saved search results and history. You can also add labels here to add or organize your search. Finally, you can access your library account by clicking on your name and then My Account. This is where you can go to see the items you have checked out and renew items, see any fines and fees you may have, books you're waiting for, or blocks on your account. As a quick review, hopefully you now know what Cat Search in a Discovery Layer is, how to search for library resources using Cat Search, then limit by peer reviewed, type, date, subject, etc., how to place holds, order, and request books, and how to access your library account online. I hope you found this information useful in some way. Take a look at the references in case they might be of use to you, and please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or comments about this video and content. Thank you.